And, and, and you are aware that, that, that you can continue to do this type of work and go there less and less frequently, but still go down. And, and, and the interesting thing that happens when, when you begin doing this type of work, when, when, you, you, when you are up most of the time and you are allowing your source connection and you, you are meditating and you are connected and you have that clarity of, of our energy flowing to you, when you do dip down, you feel it more. When you do dip down, it, it is more pronounced for you. you, you your, your old high becomes your new low, as we like to say. And, and that serves a purpose. That, that, that is your clear indication that you are still physical and you are still human, and you're never going to escape what you like to call contrast, the, the mix of positive and negative things. Because the negative, as you well know, serve you. They serve your expansion. That, that is where all of your new desires come from. All of your new creations come from that negative, that, that, that negative contrast, if you will. And the, the connection of, of fear and judgment it is natural for you to discern your preferences as a, as a human being. You come into this life with a mix of all of your previous experiences and, and, and vibrationally choosing your point of entry, meaning you, you, your, you, your parents, your, your nationality, your race, your, your, the religion that you come into, all of these things where your vibrational match via your desire to have a certain type of experience as, as a human being. And, and that, that is why we say those that, that choose to be a little different are very often choosing that experience on purpose for the richness that it will ultimately deliver to them, whether they realize it while they're in the, the human life experience or not. But you do come and discern preference and it's natural for you to all have a preference. You like this, you do not like that. That's why you have so much variety of things on your planet. Notice that if one thing is created and it's something brand new that has never been before, suddenly there will be two or three or four more just like it and suddenly you have choice and you get to discern your preference for what your, your choice is. That is natural for you to do that. The fear-based version of that is where you, you, you are judging yourselves for your choices and, and, and even more lower vibrations when you begin judging others for their choices. And, and, and needing to control that outcome, as we were just speaking of a moment ago, uh, of having everyone else agree with you and choose the same things as you and want the same things as you want. There is, there is no arena more clear, that, that, that more clearly defines this for humanity than your politics. And, and notice that you're always almost evenly split, so much so that it ensures the contrast. There's contrast on all topics. And, and, and it, 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 it is surely interesting to you that you notice that your, 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 your party systems are almost always divided in an equal way across the, the, the citizenship of, of a country, if you will. That is just an example of preference. And, but you very often see judgment. You believe you are on the right side and they are on the wrong side. And, and that is where you're getting fear based because your only interest in that is wanting to have things your way not understanding in this example that you are indeed creating your own bubble of reality and need not worry about such things at all, at all. And we are not speaking to you specifically in this example. This is just an example that we're using regarding judgment, that the need for another to discern a preference the same as yours. So because you believe that you're going to get what you want from a majority discerning that preference, where that is not true at all. Once you understand that you create your own bubble of reality and that no one else's preference is ever going to interfere with that without your invitation, then suddenly you detune that fear and the judgment goes away. So the, the, the detuning of judgment of, of others is lower vibration, but it is actually something that is easier for you to detune very often as human beings than that judgment where you judge yourselves. And you get into teaching such as this. And one of the first things David teaches in his boot camp program is, is to not judge yourselves for being down into that lower vibration. Understand that it's natural and it's normal. And, and, and the more you judge yourselves for being down there, the more you're prolonging your experience down there. And the more contrast, negative, the unwanted things that you're layering on to your life. And, and that night need not be. You, you can simply acknowledge it and, and, and appreciate it. And it takes a bit of work to get there, but you all can get to the place where you're in that negative, what we call the DTS fog. The, David has said being drunk on being down the spiral, your, your, your judgment is clouded down there because you're in negative vibration and, and learning to, to not judge yourselves in that state. It takes some time and, and some effort to do that. 
But when you detune that, you really free yourselves up to, to, to just relax into your lower vibrational time, allow whatever happens to come, go up your spiral where all the solutions reside and solve that problem and expand in the process of it, which is mm -hmm. why you're human in the first place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you.